Hi y'all, I'm Allison. Today's the big day. We get to announce the winner of the January Start and Stop Buddy Read. Our contenders were the Flight Attendant, the Diamond Eye, and Wayward. So y'all voted, and with 58% of the vote, Wayward is our winner. So we will be reading this together as our Buddy Read with a twist. And unlike our former ones, this time we're only going to have three stops because the book is a little bit shorter than normal. So Stacy L is the one who picked it and she gave me three random page numbers for us to stop at. So the way it works, y'all are going to need to grab a copy of this book and I am going to be filming videos. My reactions to the book, speculating and guessing my way through. Each stop will have a separate video and y'all can chime in with your own thoughts down in the comments. So it's been a lot of fun, and this is our fourth one that we're gonna be doing together. So in case you're unaware, Wayward is a historical fiction, magical realism book. Actually won two awards with the Goodreads Choice that just happened for a best historical fiction and a best debut. So we're gonna have three timelines in this puppy, 2019, 1619, in 1942. In 2019, in timeline, our main character, Kate, flees her abusive husband and goes to Wayward Cottage where she finds that the house may have had a secret. This was a house that she inherited from her great aunt. Then we have Alpha in 1619. She's awaiting trial because the farmer next door was stampeded by his herd, stampeded to death. So since Alpha was taught magic by her mother when she was a girl, not the spellcasting kind, but the magic out in the natural world. She was considered dangerous and she's on trial for his death. Then in 1942, we have Violet who's experiencing World War II. She's stuck at her crumbling family estate, wishing that she could have the education that her brother is, but she's under societal restraints and also missing her long deceased mother who was rumored to have gone mad. So the only thing she has of her mother is a locket with initial W in it. And the word wayward is engraved, scratched into the baseboards of the family home. So these three storylines are all gonna be tied together, I would assume through a wayward college, cottage. <laughs> Now, when this book was originally recommended by Stacey L, it was free on Kindle Unlimited. Since it has won a couple of awards, that is no longer the case. So, in fact, I had to jump through a couple of hoops to get my physical copy. My local Barnes & Noble was sold out. I had to go out to Fort Worth to get one, and I got the last copy there. The library has, like, 21 holds on it. So, you may have a little bit of trouble getting your hands on it. So, I recommend you know, start looking sooner rather than later, especially if you want the physical copy. Now, it looks like Amazon's probably going to be your best way to go if you want to get a copy of it. The physical book at Amazon is going for $16.20. Barnes & Noble has it for $24.07. If you want to go the ebook route, it's, like I said, no longer part of Kindle Unlimited. It is $12.74 there. If you get it through the Nook, it's going to be $14.99. Now, they also both have the audio version. Audible, it will cost you one credit or $14.17. Nook, if you have their subscription service for their audiobooks, it is free with theirs or it's going to cost you $26.99. Same narrators, by the way. And, you know, of course you can try getting it through the library, but I have a feeling it's going to be on holds everywhere. Other things to know about this book. There are content warnings for domestic abuse, rape, and abortion. And uh, according to Storygraph, those are graphic. So they are a big proponent of the book. If that's something that you would prefer not to read about or you're concerned about, you might want to look a little bit deeper into the content warnings before getting a copy of the book and joining us. I will be re reading it regardless. And I, I just hope it's going to be something I can handle. So we will... We will find out together. Speaking of which, this buddy read will be happening the week of January 14th through the 20th. So our first video will come up on Sunday, January 14th. That will give you the weekend 
to read up until our first stop. And then we will have a video every other day. So our second stop will be on Tuesday the 16th. Third will be on Thursday the 18th. And we will finish up the book on Saturday the 20th. So try to, you know, utilize those weekends as much as possible for y'all. My copy of the book ends on page 223 before the acknowledgements. That's the last page of the story. I would assume everybody's is going to be the same because this is a new book. I believe paperback's coming out in February. So if you do want to wait and get a copy of the paperback, my videos will be there. So you don't necessarily have to join in on the 14th. Just if you want to be part of the, I guess, live discussion, then you, you definitely want to be there for that. But you can always come to this later on down the road, maybe when the library holds free up or you get a paperback copy of it. The videos will be waiting for you. Audiobook is 10 hours and 51 minutes. So I have done the math for everything. Our first stop will be on page 93. For the, any audiobook listeners, that is going to be about three hours and two minutes into the book. And it will happen around the midpoint of chapter 15. So what you're going to want to do as you are reading along, when you get to this stopping point, we're calling this our magical paragraph because it keeps everybody on the same spot throughout our readathon. So when you come to, it was romantic, she told herself the next morning, the way he undid her trousers, dot, dot, dot. By the way, this paragraph is what had me look at content warnings. So when you reach that point, what you're going to do is close your book and you're going to wait for the next video to come out. That'll give you some time to think about what has transpired up to that point and kind of formulate some opinions, some guesses on what may come during the next portion. The three that we've done together have been a lot of fun and I am curious to see if this will be our first non-mystery. So far, all of the books have turned out to be mystery thrillers and so this one's straight up historical fiction. So I'm curious to see how our little format's going to do with that. All right. I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments below and keep an eye out because maybe video after next or the next one, we are going to start the process of picking our February book because so y'all will have more time to get a hold of a copy and it won't be such a scramble. I'm working out our system here. All right. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I am looking forward to starting this book with y'all on Sunday, the 14th. I probably will start reading it that previous Friday to give me time to edit. All right. I will see y'all on Monday with my Sims TBR game. And then probably the one after that will be starting the process to pick our February book. I hope you're going to like our next theme. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye. No. <laughs> I've got Lily right at my feet. <laughs>